Hello there, I am KX90. This is the introduction to Hoverbait part 3. We're gonna start by taking all of the items out of the box. This is preparation for the next steps. Now that the box is empty, you can see the lines in which you are to use a knife or a scissor to cut out the platform and sail to the hover bit. And there you have it, this is the base for your hover bit. Now we're gonna cut out the hole in the middle of the cardboard. And then you're gonna have to choose one of the four options available for the sail to the hover bit. Of course you can modify it to whatever you want, but this is the four main options. But if you do decide to modify the sail, remember, the number one function for the sail is to turn your hover bit sideways. There you have it, the sail and the base for the hover bit. The next thing you need is the plastic bag. And now we're gonna draw with the marker the lines of the hover bit. And then the same thing with the circle. Turn the bag around. And then with a ruler, you're gonna mark a rectangle. And with the scissor, you're gonna cut out the rectangle. And you're gonna cut out the circle. The next thing you're gonna do is to use a screwdriver and pop out the holes marked with an X. And then insert the screws. The top of the screw is to be on the bottom of the base. And then you're gonna use a glue gun around the circle. Then place the bag with the circle down towards the circle. Make sure that the lines you draw with the marker aligns with the base of the hover bit. Insert a paper into the bag, this is to make sure that the heat from the glue doesn't destroy the plastic bag. And then you can use the glue gun on the rest of the base. Turn the hover bit and just press the base of the hover bit towards the table. And then we're gonna use eight spacers that are gonna place onto the screws. And then we're gonna screw the air bits onto the main frame. Place the main frame onto the hover bit like this. And then secure the mainframe with nuts. And then you're gonna need one engine holder and two 90 degrees holders. Place them onto the mainframe like this. Now 
Now we're gonna need the servo. Insert it on the engine holder. Use our rubber band to secure the servo onto the engine holder. The next thing to do is to use this with the servo horn and to use a small rubber band around it. The next thing to do is to place this onto the servo. Attach one wooden wedge. And then the engine. And then you're gonna attach the last engine. Attach one small rubber band like this. You don't have to do this, but I do enjoy some good wiring. Make sure that the colors of the cables are in the correct position. Connect the servo to the air bit. Connect the top engine to the air bit. And then connect the bottom engine to the air bit on the opposite side. And then you're gonna attach the sail to the hover bit. Remember that there's a difference between the CW and CCW propeller. Attach the propellers to the different engines. Now we're gonna attach the battery to the main frame, so take a rubber band and attach it like this. Then attach the battery. And there you have it, this is the complete hover bit. It has been a true pleasure building this hover bit. It's easy to construct, yet it's quite entertaining and challenging. I truly recommend this product. Thanks for watching, I am KX90. Stay tuned for the next episode.